pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. <laughs>
of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis's trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durden. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> I've never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. 
The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was... Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always... I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. 
It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans! You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Maybe closer than ever before.